Good morning. I can see you guys joining in. If you can hear me and if you can see me, type in hi in the chat box. We have Priya, Reena, Sumi, Sunil, Aditya, Gopal, Bobesh. Hi. Morning. Good to see you. Good to have you guys here. We have people joining in, jumping in. All right. So while people are joining in, jumping in, if you are also joining in, jumping in, just tell me where you're joining from. I live in Bangalore. I'm a good Jew who lives in Bangalore. Where are you from? Right. I'm from Hyderabad. Hyderabad. That, that's Gopal. Hey, Gopal. Hyderabad. Awesome. Chennai. So you Rama from Chennai. All right. Just type in where you're joining in from. Vadodara, awesome. Uday from Vadodara. Priya from Goa, awesome. Lucknow, Rajat from Lucknow. All right. Good to see you guys joining in on a Sunday morning. Thank you so much for doing this. And by the way, we are maxed out. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys saw the messages in the group and now there are no, no more registrations coming in. Uh, we are maxed out at our capacity today. Vivek from Lucknow. Murli, they're joining from Goa. Awesome. A lot of people from Goa. Next time I come for a vacation, I see you guys there. Chirag from Mumbai, Lucknow, Sikandrabad, Ahmedabad, Bharat. Awesome. All right. Okay, we have more people joining in. Come on, as you're joining in, just tell me where you're joining in from. All right, we'll start at 11.05. We give people five minutes of grace to you know join in and for all of you are joining in on time congratulations oh, good job so if you're joining in just tell me where you're joining in from which city which place right ravi from hyderabad rajiv singh from delhi awesome do we have east we don't have many people from the east. Yeah, we have west, we have south, we have north. Bengaluru, hey. Okay, Pradeep from Pune, Sunil from Mumbai, Jai from Delhi, DVS Ramakrishnan from Bengaluru. Yeah, Namma Bengaluru. Oh, now we have east as well, Virendra Singh from Kolkata. So east, west, north, south, Meerut, Delhi, Bangalore, Mumbai, Kiran from Bangalore. Awesome. All right. So while you guys are joining in Namma Bengaluru. Okay. Awesome, Babesh. Dashrath. All right. Namma Bengaluru. Absolutely. <clears throat> so how's the weather out there? Bangalore is pretty bright and, you know, sunny today. At least for the last couple of days, it's been otherwise quite cold in Bangalore. Kolkata, Chennai. Is it still raining in the north? Like I don't watch news, I'm not too sure. You know, is Delhi still underwater? Odisha, Sambalpur says Prabhas. Mumbai still reading? Okay, Jitendra from Gujarat. Hey Jitendra, where from Gujarat? Palanpur, oh, okay. Gujarat, Buj, Durgesh, awesome, Buj. All right, so yeah, we're almost there. Can't hear? Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, type in LNC loud and clear. If you can hear me loud and clear, type in LNC. Yeah, yes, audio is fine. Rahul, if you're not able to hear me, I think you need to check your audio. Okay. Loud and clear, thank you, thank you. All right, awesome. So I see some people still uh, uh trying to log in and we as i said okay so we are 
maxed out for the registrations today and we'll try to you know get started right now all right so how many of you have seen any of my trainings or attended any of my sessions earlier in uh, technofunda if you have done that type in me if this is first time you are hearing about me or talking to me type in ft first time type in first time yeah okay there are people pinging me that they are not able to log in because we are maxed out so let me just try and sort that out now inner circle yes first time first time first time okay most of you are seeing me meeting me for the first time that's good hello no no right that low uh you guys can keep yeah, yourself yeah. muted yeah chat chat not just not okay guys uh okay please keep yourself on mute so that we can focus on what i'm talking about okay let me see if i can mute you guys okay guys you guys can you know keep yourself on mute uh once you know yeah shushil i yeah if if you guys join the bangalore meetup yeah then you met me awesome all right so with that let's get started are you guys ready type in ready in the chat box if you are ready 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 awesome all right So guys this session is going to last for about you know 2 hours okay we have 15 minutes of buffer i'll try to cover as much as i can go deep and do the q and a okay is that clear type in clear okay so be ready to you know stay here till about 1 115 hard stop at 115 automatically we're going to you know this meeting is going to end at 115 okay so we'll do that all right so we have rajiv kumar as well who is sharing his video everybody else has you know kept the video hi yeah so you can keep your videos on if you want to no issues at all but you keep yourself on mute okay everybody if you want to keep your videos on feel free if you want to you know switch it off feel free i know sunday morning some of you i might still be in your pajamas and you know uh thanks that's okay have fun no issues we are not doing any workouts over here all right so <clears throat> let's get started now here is the thing okay this session is not going to be a death by ppt neither you know it's going to be an exercise session okay like you guys are joining me for the first time so you don't know much about me i'll share a little bit about me but i'll tell you what you'll get out of it okay are you guys ready yep give me a thumbs up type in me in the chat box if you're ready right so number one thing how many times if you are a man we have few women in the you know group as well but if you are a man how many times you have thought like you know i don't want my wife to cook separately for me okay i want to lose weight i want to be healthy i want to eat healthy all that stuff but i don't want my wife to lose cook separately for me how many of you have expected this type in me if you are on video you have a leverage you can just raise your hand right me awesome all right chirag says yeah awesome chirag now let me ask you this how many times does it happen that by end of the day you have no energy to go to the gym forget about working out type in i or say hi right right forget about working out right i don't have energy to go to the gym right now how many times it has come or it has happened that or every new year comes with a new resolution that this year is going to be the healthiest year i'm going to lose weight i'll go to gym i'll eat healthy i'll do this 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 type in me if you have done that 
However, nothing happens in two, three months. And then you're back to where you were. Type in me. Okay. Now, whatever I'm telling you, these are not my words, huh, by the way. These are exact words of the clients that I've worked with. Okay. And this is what they were suffering with when they spoke to me or before they worked away with me. Now, one more thing, right? How many of you really understand or have, okay, let me ask you this. How many of you have tried doing things like giving up? Okay. I gave up on tea. I gave up on coffee. I gave up on sugar. I gave up on sweets. I gave up on maida. I gave up on rice. I gave up on all this. Like, you know, you started giving up on things or reducing or restrict to yourself to lose weight. Type in me in the chat box if you've done that. Right? Only after to get back on it again, right? And get into this cycle. You give up, you can't stay with that, but then, you know, you can't resist, something happens, uh, you know, uh, work happens, travel happens, somebody in the, you know, family falls sick, all these things happen, you're like back to where you were. Type in back. Right? Type in back. Right, if you're coming back to that vicious cycle. Now, how many of you actually want a permanent solution to this? Type in P if you want a permanent solution to this. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get started and I'll show you how. Okay. Let me know if you're able to see my screen. Type in screen in the chat box if you're able to see my screen. Yes. Screen. Awesome. All right. Great. So you can compound your health too if you follow the right system in the right way consistently. Okay. Now, right system, right way consistently. Okay. Three things to consider over here. Type in three if you understand these three things. Okay. Just like there is no easy money, no, you know, get rich quick schemes that work in real time. There is no quick weight loss or magic weight loss formula or pills. Type in if you get it, because if you're expecting some magic to happen, it's not going to happen. Type in got it in the chat box if you got this. Okay. If you're expecting a magic, you know, you can log off right now, save two, three hours of your time, go and do whatever you are doing. It's not going to be useful. Okay. So there is no magic. There is a system which you need to follow. Right. And just like compounding, just like, you know, what we do with the stock market, if you want continuous benefit, you got to stay invested here. If you want continuous benefit, you got to continue to take care of your health. It's a lifelong journey. Type in LLJ if you understand that it's a lifelong journey. LLJ, right? Like we say, lifelong learners, lifelong journey. It's not, oh, once I lose weight, I I'll, I'll, I'll can do everything. Because here is the thing. You need to understand this one thing very, very clearly that whatever you are doing or whatever you have been doing is what has led to the weight gain, to the health problems, to all the things that you're facing right now. Is it making sense? We talk about weight, Girish, because that's the biggest problem that we're facing. Obesity, being overweight leads to a lot of other problems. We get into that details, Girish. Is it making sense? Now, what happens is like overnight, if you're going to wake up tomorrow, in your like whatever biologically you call it as an ideal weight category or the weight or the shape or the health that you want to get into if you don't know how to maintain that what do you think will happen you know few months few weeks few years down the line you will invite all these problems again is it getting getting in here are you guys getting the bulb on movement because like your daily actions have resulted in your current state of health. Now, 
if i do a complete reset using some magic tomorrow morning you wake up like you were expected to be like you know 100 out of 100 on your health but you don't change the things that you're doing right now few years down the line few months down the line few weeks down the line you end up in the same state making sense type in ms if this is making sense to you because you need to understand this in order to you know grasp whatever i'm going to say right because it's a daily action that people actually don't get it's like daily routine that you do right it's chronic thing it's not a one time thing that you got to do it's a repetition that's going to give you results and also help you keep the results all right awesome so right how many of you have seen this that as you age your career and your finances went up but your health went down type in me in the chat box below if you have seen this your career went up you got more money you got you know good job good business all that stuff but your health started going down right i'm going to tell you why it happened and how you can change that right awesome thank you how many of you have seen as you age as your career progresses your stress level increases your family becomes bigger your energy levels are going down type in me in the chat box if you have seen that right awesome with energy your health also started going down high cholesterol blood pressure diabetes all of these started kicking in joint pain you can't bend down you can't sit down all of these things your fitness levels your health is going down type in me if you have experienced this right awesome so you will know why and you will also know how to get rid of this as we go forward with this another thing how many of you increasingly feel that as the time goes by as you age as you progress in life the time for self care the time for your own self continues to go down type in nt if you always feel like whatever you want to do for your health the answer comes no time type in nt no time right nt no time no time no time all of that stuff right awesome so yeah you will one understand that time is not just a location time is also about energy and priority and when your energy levels goes down what happens is you become slower so the thing that you were able to do it in 5 hours now it actually takes you 8 hours and now you don't have time and now you don't have time you don't take care of your health which means you know your batteries are not charged next day you do the same thing but 5 becomes 8 and over a period of time 5 hours of work becomes 10 hours of work plus the added work continues to pile up and you get into this vicious cycle of no energy no time no energy no time no energy no time how many of you think this is making sense you've seen this cycle happening in your life type in me if you getting this right when you get slower you take more time to do things as you grow senior in your career in your life all the responsibilities and stress increases so you have more work less energy and the problem just becomes bigger and bigger 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 day by day right awesome so you will know how to break that cycle all right so how many of you are ready to learn how to follow the right system in the right way type in ready in the chat box if you are ready bio bharat awesome Yeah, I've been ready. I've been BIO, whatever you like. Awesome, right? So now that you know, you guys are here. You don't know me. Let me give you like a little bit of background of myself. Let me introduce myself so you know who you are talking to and is it even worth talking to. So let me tell you who I am not. I'm not a gym trainer. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist as such. Okay, I am 40 years old, father of two kids. an it professional turned full time health and fitness coach okay so i spent 15 years of my life working in the field of it with biggest of the world oracle microsoft netapp hpe 
like all of these before i said okay i'm going to dedicate my entire professional career to health and fitness to help people like you get healthier get fitter get stronger and you know get out of the vicious cycle that we talked about this is what i do i'm a certified personal trainer a certified nutrition coach a master health coach certified by precision nutrition usa okay uh, i have personally coached more than 700 individuals trained more than 10000 individuals in multiple format and i've trained people at multiple corporates like deloitte acuity cbre and lot of these and i'm i'm one of the regular panelists for the doc online whenever this session happens probably I, i'm the one who does their lot of public webinars for them so yeah this is who i am just to give you a context you know i have been living a healthy lifestyle from past 22 to 24 years first time i stepped inside a gym it was actually not a gym it is something called akhada and it was when i was 16 17 and from that time onwards i've been living learning about healthy lifestyle okay now the reason i'm telling you this is you should understand that what am i going to teach i'm practicing it for almost more than two and a half decades right at 40 i don't have diabetes i don't have blood pressure i don't have cholesterol any of these and now you may think that you know uh, what it is but let me tell you in 2020 september 2020 i had five businesses okay one job five businesses that i used to run and two startups there where i was an advisor so if you think that you know life's busy and you know you just have responsibility and i don't like i've i've been there even today i run two businesses okay while i don't have the job i run two businesses i have family i have kids all of these things and again i'm not trying to boast about myself i'm just trying to give you a context so that you understand it's possible if you do it in a systematic way right so whatever i'm going to teach you is actually based on a solid scientific evidence okay and personal experience is this making sense type in ms if this is making sense to you right and probably to give you guys a little bit of glimpse what does it really take right it is actually not google or any of these things like you know you look at these books over here like you know have i've read and you know learned these books over a period of last 6 7 years and this is just 30% of the books that i've actually studied you know i have invested more than 40 lakh rupees into my own education okay and this is where i have understood what does it take and the reason i'm telling you is again you need to understand how i have created this system okay so this is based on all the learnings that i have and i'm going to give you a six step system today are you guys ready for the six step systems today right and again we're going to talk about all the things that i do and everything here okay and if you guys need anything more we will have a q and a after that right awesome and while you learn this system let me tell you this is not any typical exercise plan any diet plan anything that you would get on the google youtubes of the world or even the fitters and healthy fimes of the world okay like most of them don't even have any idea of what i'm actually going to talk about so what are we going to do is we're going to talk about three steps to compound your health and then three boosters how to turbocharge this journey how to attach booster rockets to this journey and then finally i'm going to give you a brahmastra which will help you live a fit life how many of you think this is going to be wow type in wow right and i'll i'll share everything step by step right awesome so let's get started so we all talked about you know that we struggle to take care of our health as we age let's understand why okay now when it comes to health most people talk about weight even i started talking about like weight but here is a thing your life and everything you are in your life has an impact of what you do now let me ask you 
how many of your time how many of times you actually end up eating junk eating sugary food eating more end up overeating when you are stressed type in me in the chat box if they have done that many times is bharat right me me sometimes me 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 now here is the thing it was not hunger it was not about the food but you still ended up eating more isn't it now how many times you actually end up either eating or drinking things that you would normally not or eat more or drink more when you are at a certain place or with certain people like if you are at party if you are at some wedding some function vacation or with your friends at restaurant or in a buffet etc type in me if you've done that yeah but it says me right now again can you understand it has nothing to do with the food are you guys getting the point do you actually understand that one of your behavior was a psychological problem because of the stress the other of your behavior was a problem because of things people and situation you are in type in mb if you are mind blown right and now you actually try and say oh i don't have will power i don't have discipline i don't have consistency i don't have motivation to stick to the diet but most of the time your diet your exercise routine your any health routine got impacted either because of the psychological things like somebody falls sick somebody you know in your uh, you know family is not well you have more work new project late nights travel or you know when you are attending a wedding you are going on a vacation or there is a weekend and there is party and all that stuff can you see that yeah is it making sense yeah yes can can you see this this is not a game of motivation or will power and you think you need lot more motivation and will power than you actually need you just think like okay let me ask you this how many people who smoke a cigarette knows that it can cause cancer right every single person who smokes a cigarette knows that it can cause cancer yes agree now just because they know it do they quit yes or no you tell them no 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 this can cause cancer no tell me why why because it's not addiction it's not dopamine okay because you need to understand they have stress in their life and they have found that cigarette solves or you know helps them come out of the stress whatever you want to now call it as a dopamine spike or first high second high third high all of this stuff but it's very very simple whenever they are stressed they smoke or they smoke more yes or yes type in yes if you are a smoker you can also type in yes you have the first hand experience if you know people who smoke then you also know they end up having it more right because that helps them overcome stress so just by knowing that something is good for you doesn't mean you will do it like how many people know exercise is good for you type in me if you know exercise is good for you right how many people actually do it type in when you know but you still don't do it it's good for everyone everyone right now some people will come and say yeah i don't know what to do right now this is a classic trap that you're putting yourself in because you think that you need some perfect workout design all that stuff now that is important and i'm going to talk about what are the real things that we need about exercise but you still know 
the simplest exercise that you can do walking does everybody know walking the simplest exercise type in yes or yes right walking is simple everybody can do it no skill required no special equipment nothing you can also walk inside your room in like 8 by 8 room also how many of you still don't do it type in don't type in don't and be honest with yourself because it's not about me it's about you right no understand if you're doing it awesome but you still understand just because you know something is good doesn't mean you will do it just because you know something is bad doesn't mean you will not do it are we clear is this clear if you are getting this clear type in clear right so when you talk about your health you got to understand the complete health is combination of biological factors like your age your metabolism your genetic makeup your biological sex your hormones all of these things then it's also made of your psychological factors your thoughts your feelings your be- belief your expectations your memories uh, your worries your stress your world view your values all of that stuff and the social context like things around you people around you situation around you like your friends and family right like you end up doing most of the things that people around you end up doing okay if end of the day if all your friends are going to the pub and have a drink before going home what are the chances you start doing it very very high if you come home and everybody has dal khichdi what are the chances you eating that very very high if you come home and everybody is eating you know paratha and sabzi what are the chances you going to eat that very very high so your socio economic status people around you the physical environment that you live in all of these things matter so if you are able to get this type in dts it's bio psycho social model of health that is where the whole health comes in b e s okay biology psychology and sociology all three come into things and this is where the real solutions come from right awesome and we'll talk about the details of all that stuff now let's talk about the biological part of it okay now as you age after the age of 30 you lose 3 to 8% of your muscle mass and this loss is very high if you're stressed if you're sedentary if you're nutrient deficient or if you're not eating the right food now what does it mean it means that the growth hormone production actually slows and stops when you are in your 30s and you know near 40s testosterone production slows and all of these mean slow metabolism weakness low energy and weight gain okay and this leads to lower confidence lower self esteem and increased risk of diabetes heart attack and certain type of cancers Now, how does it work let me tell you this if you are losing 3 to 8% of muscle mass what does it mean your muscles actually one they are metabolically active tissues which means they are you know consuming energy so let me ask you this how many of you have experienced this that you eat the same food okay you are like very consistent do roti do roti you eat the same food over a years but you are actually slowly and gradually putting on weight type in me if you have experienced this right and you're like no i eat healthy i eat at home i eat the same food now what is happening is to give you a very simple example that over a period of time like say for example your income if you are earning 1 lakh rupee you continue to earn 1 lakh rupees but your expenses continue to go down okay every year every year on year year on year year on year and they continue to go down what will happen will your savings increase your income doesn't increase your income is same but your expenses have reduced so will your savings increase yes same thing 
the income or the input of calories is the same but due to muscle mass loss and due to more sedentary life that you start living what is happening is you're using less and less of it and you're slowly piling on weight is it making sense type in ms if this is making sense to you yeah clear right so when you are around 40 you are also at the peak of your career okay like 40s is where most people actually are at the peak of their career do you agree type in agree if you agree right now your work stress is also high because of that type in yes if you agree right you are at the peak of your career like all the hard work that you have done for last 20 25 years is now showing to pay right you get promotions or if you are in a business now you are expanding zone you you already turned profitable you are thinking about scaling all that stuff so the work stress is high your kids are growing up and they are almost around the teens that they want to get into either they are in the teens or they are getting into the teens and your parents are getting old is is this the situation that we face when we are in 40s yes so yes yes do you guys agree now this means no time for self care you have no time for yourself most of the time goes into the career work earning money and whatever you are left with you are like okay kids need me uh, let me take care of the kids and then your parents are getting old they need your help they need some support so you do that and by that time like 24 hours are over and you're like shit let me do something tomorrow and the tomorrow never comes making sense right and if at all you sometimes try to do something for yourself for self care like you do some even if you go to a spa or you know get massage for yourself or sometimes you want to go to gym and do walking and you know that some of the things that work or at you know how home or anything is not done you actually feel like you know it's a crime to take time out of yourself right making sense does it happen right now what this results in coping mechanisms now you need more energy so you're like tea coffee smoking then end of the day end of the week you are tired and you're like okay let me have couple of drinks and relax so that happens and the weekend comes and you're like okay i'm going to drink for some time this is saturday night this is friday night and you're like trying to relax and all of a sudden you open the eyes and it's monday right so these are all coping mechanisms tea coffee smoking and even food and i'll tell you the most dangerous coping mechanism is food tell me why ask me why the most dangerous out of all this is food ask me why right because if i say somebody has a tea addiction or any food but not junk food any food for that matter coping if food is a coping mechanism is the most dangerous one i'll tell you why if somebody has a tea or coffee addiction there is some kind of thing in their mind that okay like tea is not a food okay like you know it's not that acceptable by everybody coffee okay like i can have only limited right people will also tell me yaar kitna chai peete ho kitna coffee peete ho slow down stop all of that stuff smoking yeah people will say yaar smoking say you know there is no social support for smoking there is no social support for alcohol like some people may get some friends and family to drink with them and smoke with them but overall you still conscious like you know these things are not healthy let me not do it right they still belong to the unhealthy category inside your brain make sense and nobody will force you to have tea coffee smoking alcohol at all but with food what happens is if somebody is eating more or if somebody says okay give me food will you ever say no as per our culture Say no to food to anybody. Will you ever say no? Never. In fact, we would serve as much as we can. 
like if somebody is coming to our house we kind of you know prepare more varieties we give them more sweets more savories more options and want to stuff them as much as we can <laughs> right and now what happens is there is no social taboo with that at the same time everybody accepted theek hai yaar kisi ko khana hai khane ke liye mana thodi karenge but never ever somebody will actually kind of try to stop you from eating more and that's where food becomes socially acceptable coping mechanism you know 4 o'clock 5 o'clock in the evening it's not hunger you're not hungry at all you're just stressed you're like chal yaar chai pi ke aate hain with chai you get some pakoda some samosa some bread toast some cake piece something some cookies and you're like okay nobody will ever tell you yaar kyu kha raha hai mat kha don't do this or any of this is it making sense nobody stops you from doing that in fact people support you if you actually ask for help and that's why it's a very very dangerous coping mechanism because it is socially acceptable and nobody considers eating itself as an unhealthy activity type in bulb on if this is a bulb on moment for you right this is what most people support it right these are the psychological problems that we go through sociological problems that we go through right and it's very very powerful by the way okay it's not something which is like you know like i'll tell you sugar hits your brain in one second it takes nicotine 10 seconds to hit your brain so don't underestimate the power of food as a coping mechanism okay for people who have food as a coping mechanism or they are addicted to eating more food it's as or even 10 times more dangerous than nicotine so yeah plus sociological factors our environment is getting increasingly more and more unhealthy more machines more technology means we are moving less right at least earlier if i had to you know change a channel for my tv i had to get up and press the button how many of you are the 90s kids right we had the you know tv with the buttons right there were eight channels on bush baron on the right side right <laughs> so you have to go and change that then came remote controls so at least you had to go get the remote control and set and now what i have google hey google do this and google does that for you right so you don't even get off the couch right plus you have more food options available like i know like for you know most of the 80s i'm an 83 born so for most of the 80s we didn't have a fridge at home for most of the 90s we had fridge at home but hamare fridge mein hamesha ice cream nahi hua karta tha now today i'll tell you i'll ask all of you and 90% of you will say you have some kind of sweet savory ice cream something available in your fridge today yes or yes right hum log ice cream ghar pe banate the right we used to like you know boil the milk and i used to be with my mom i love doing that so You know, घर पे बनाते थे उठा के यू नो वो एल्यूमिनियम का बॉक्स में रखने का फिर उसको निकालना वापिस यू चॉन यू डू दैट सो देर लॉट मोर एफर्ट एंड वर्क इन वर्ल्ड इन डूइंग इट वेर एस टूडे देर इज नथिंग राइट ऑल यू गॉट टू डू इज इवन इफ इट इज नॉट इन योर फ्रिज वॉट यू हैव यू हैव दिस फोन ए स्विगी यू नो गेट मी आइसक्रीम ए जोमैटो गेट मी आइसक्रीम एंड आइसक्रीम कम्स टू यू इन टेन मिनट्स और ट्वेंटी मिनट्स इवन इफ इट्स थ्री एम एट नाइट so food options are available they are highly processed they are loaded with more calories and they are manufactured understand this they are manufactured to make you overeat and marketing is everywhere like once you click on something they follow you everywhere on facebook on twitter on google like whatever website even on true true caller you will see the ad to the same thing below do you see that yes and rather than going out and meeting people when you are tired rather than talking to people what we have now netflix youtube instagram what we do are yaar i'm tired i just sit and you know take a phone your reel shorts one after another you're swiping or you're just glued to tv watching netflix this are the sociological factors that are actually impacting our health because of this you don't sleep well like you're moving less you are eating more you are not sleeping enough next day morning how do you wake up you wake up feeling groggy you wake up feeling lethargic you have no energy so what do you do 
अरे यार कोई पहले चाय पिला दे कोई कॉफी दे दे इट टेक्स वन और टू कॉफी फॉर यू टू एक्चुअली नाउ गेट बैक टू योर यू नो ओरिजिनल energy levels then you you know go to work do certain things and by evening you are like shit i'm tired right i need to do something i'm tired of all this let me sit and watch something right but you don't understand that watching something is actually not helping you sleep if you're not sleeping well you're not doing all that stuff and we'll get into the details of this but is this actually making sense type in ms in the chat box below if this is making sense to you right and this is where if you're just going to go and say give me an exercise program give me an exercise plan give me a nutrition chart give me a meal plan i'll do keto i'll do paleo i'll do you know intermittent fasting this that it's actually not going to solve the problem for you are you getting that right you got to understand that you need to take care of all of these things and understand all of these things right awesome thank you now let's start this so why do we care for this slower metabolism and all that stuff right here is the thing being overweight being obese is a huge mortality risk factor however i would add one more category to this which is what we call it as skinny fat some people might not have a problem with weight so they might see or you know be in the ideal weight category they have no or almost you know minimal muscles in their body they have still lot of fat in their body so we call it a skinny fat you have more fat in your body you are at the risk of type 2 diabetes hypertension fatty liver disease reproductive disorders heart disease mood disorders like depression anxiety increased risk of certain type of cancer and high cholesterol and obesity actually acts as a common denominator for all the health issues and this is what it is it is responsible for the 60 percentages of the death and 40 percentages of sickness okay so we're not talking about cosmetic weight and you know six packs and looking like you know Salman Khan, Rithik Roshan, Tiger Shroff, whatever you know, all of these. No, we are talking about the actual health of your body, and all these factors actually lead to obesity. And what obesity can actually create for you? How many actually now understand the importance of actually taking care of your health? Type in me in the chat box if you now understand why. whatever weight that you are sitting in it's not just making you feel uncomfortable in your you know clothes or whatever but from inside you know, actually it's killing you yeah thank you now so essentially to summarize this we are moving less we are eating more we are sleeping less do you agree type in me yeah we are highly stressed we are distracted and we are misguided right and i'll tell you why we are misguided because every time you'll see oh ankur wariku's weight loss journey ankur wariku lost so many kg in so many things this is what he did now here is the thing what ankur wariku does not tell you or what that article does not tell you is ankur wariku has a personal trainer personal nutritionist and everybody who suggested him where the experts he didn't decide things for himself manish paul lost this this actor this celebrity did this they did not do it themselves they actually hired expert paid them and then they did it but we just see oh they did it i can also do it this guy follows intermittent fasting i should also your life is different than his and do you even know the truth when they say i do it do they actually do it it was guided so that's all game of pr okay and getting on the newspaper and front page and all that stuff and obesity is a leading you know risk of mortality how many of you are now getting the point type in got it if you get the point okay 
because here is the thing I, I showed you the books that I studied and these are just 30 percent of the books and I'm still in the learning process okay I, I continue to learn just like every fever is different you got to go to the doctor every weight loss journey is different you got to really understand what works for you right it's not just taking somebody else's thing and trying to copy paste and see if it works is this making sense type in ms if this is making sense to you because i'll tell you how how it is very different like see in market you know you see that a stock price of reliance is same for everybody at 12 o'clock on monday okay the variable factor is market but here everybody themselves are the variable our biology our psychology our sociology is unique to ourselves now you know when people say you know no two plans are same or two plans will work for people this is why how many of you are getting a bull bond movement the variable is you how you think how you behave your genetics your people and things and situation around you right so here variable is not external outside the variable is you yourself and it is much more complicated than just looking at the stock price of reliance on a market making sense right and i'll give you a very simple you know proof of that right now there are tons of apps videos gyms like if you live in tier 1 tier 2 city just like me and most of my clients you have gym in your apartment or in your you know office complex none of these have actually solved a problem the number of obesity obese people in india is increasing the number of diabetic people in india is increasing right making sense there are apps available there are more gyms there are more youtube videos there are more youtube and you know instagram influencers and all of these right but none of these are actually helping you solve a problem because none of them actually want to get into the ugly details of telling you that you got to work on your biology but you also got to work on the psychology which is your mindset you also got to work on your sociology which is your environment only and only then you build a sustainable routine and sustainable healthy lifestyle when we talk about healthy lifestyle this is what healthy lifestyle means how many of you now got the at least that you know what healthy lifestyle is not now we're going to get into the six steps but what healthy lifestyle is not right it is not cooking separately for yourself it is not giving up on your social life it is not about motivation it is not about restrictive diets any of these is it making sense you understand what it is not now we'll talk about what it is are you with me type in with you so far right this is where we need to understand you need to carve your own path and we need a solution that works for your lifestyle right awesome thank you so much are you guys learning something type in l in the chat box if you have learned something are you learning something yes 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 awesome thank you so much right awesome love it thank you so much now introduction to the fit life okay this is a system that i have built based on all the learnings that i have and this will give you the context on you know how you can design your system too okay so what is the step one the st step 1 is to build strength stamina and confidence like how many of you want to know how type in how in the chat box if you want to know how to build strength stamina and confidence right so how do you do it number 1 where does strength come from where does confidence come from let me ask you this how many of you where does confidence come from where does confidence come from tell me mindset no where does confidence come from 
psyche, fitness, mindset. Confidence comes from ability. Okay, if you've done something, you know you can do it. And when somebody asks you to do that, I can do this. That's where confidence comes from. Yes, from ability, right? And in case of you know our body, our strength, our ability to carry our own self, do things that we want to do. Like you saw the picture of me doing that human flag, right? Now I'll tell you. Whenever I look at that picture, it bloody boost my confidence. Like I'll tell you, less than like not even one person, less than half percent of world population can lift their body up like that. They don't have that level of health, fitness. and you know ability in themselves so now i feel confident that yes i have ability so it comes from strength in your body in stamina that i know i have a two hour session today i'll be able to continue to talk to you guys without feeling like okay so now by no means it equals to body building if i'm presenting like that i don't have energy i don't have stamina i don't have confidence is it making sense yes or yes yeah so here is the thing okay a 5 kg dumbbell or a 5 kg load will remain 5 kg but you can become stronger how many of you are actually getting the point a 5 kg dumbbell will remain 5 kg a 5 kg load will remain 5 kg but you can get stronger what is something very difficult for you you can actually make it easier only by getting stronger because that's not going to get lighter are you getting the point so your life your stress your things around you are not going to get easier only you can get better okay this is little deep so i'll repeat things for you earning money taking care of your health taking care of your relationship any of these are not going to get easier only you can get better how many of you getting a bulb on right so you got to be better and this is about keeping your body strong so that you can move better you can improve your metabolism you can boost your testosterone production this is in context of the biology right so what happens right and this is where most people go wrong okay when they want to lose weight they actually pick up cardio exercise they pick up like walking and running and all that stuff and that works you may lose weight but that's like trading it's like you get whatever you get today you take home your cash but it's in the bank there is no compounding whatever gain that you get is at home how many of you are getting a bull bond moment all right where a strength training is like value investing where this builds long term compounding effect that 3 to 8% of loss that we talked about you can actually stop and slow it down and build more muscles which means now you're building a compounding machine your bones your joints your muscles are stronger you have more energy your testosterone level your growth hormone levels are better your endocrine system functions better you feel more confident you have more energy and you also burn more energy at rest which i'll show you how is it making sense are you getting it type in got it if you got so far can they be built out of 45 they can be built after 90 bharat okay no matter what age you are if you start the strength training and again whatever i'm telling you this is not me this is all scientific evidence you guys can go and google this now when you go to google go to the google scholar and read the research papers not the articles written by people okay because anybody can write anything so you will get if you read the scientific papers everything that i'm telling you it is proven right i'm just trying to keep it in the more english for you so that you guys can understand right so here is how happen what happens okay 
so let me this is little more technical okay so understand your daily energy expenditure okay so how your body burns calories in simple terms it is 70% of that is called base metabolic rate which means all the energy that is required to keep you alive even if you are just lying down on your bed you will still burn these calories okay understand you don't get up for your from your bed like how many times you have seen that you are sick you are not well whatever you lying down on your bed you still feel hungry yes or yes right you just on a bed rest you're not moving at all you still feel hungry right why you still need food why some people who are actually you know uh, on the bed they have problem they're not able to eat well they start losing weight as well have you seen that due to sickness and all of that right they are on a bed rest but they are not able to eat enough and they are you know in the weight loss thing so keeping you alive is 70% of the work okay all 70% of the expense is there and if you build a faster and better metabolism by building more muscles stronger bones stronger joints you can increase this 70% because if you start losing muscle this 70% becomes 60 that becomes 50 so at rest you are losing you are not using enough calories because your body does not have active tissues to really do it making sense is it clear right even if you are not moving so just to repeat again aditya even if you are not moving just to keep all the functions in your body working you have to spend energy okay you don't just spend energy doing exercise and if you engage into the strength training you can increase your base metabolic rate so in simple terms you are building a compounding machine where you have invested in the companies that are growing faster than the interest rate and then you are reinvesting that money in the same company and they are reinvesting in their own growth they are not giving out things for dividend right that is building your bmr and this is like your core portfolio in our language of techno funda if this is making sense type in ms if this is making sense right remaining 30% consist of non exercise activity thermic effect of food and exercise activity we will talk about all these things as we move forward okay but this is where the bulk of your energy is spent if you can increase or hold on to this you can be a big winner making sense right now here is the thing that people don't understand right if you look at this last one okay sorry only 5% of the energy is burnt or the calories are burned for doing exercise okay now we all have limited time in a day to do the exercise yes or yes right and exercise is burning only 5% of the total calories now if you use that 5% of your time to do trading rather than investing you will make money but what will happen you're not building a long term compounding right so if you focus on doing lot of cardio during this time it's not that you will not lose weight you may lose weight and you will also get some benefit of cardiovascular health so you're like getting more money obviously you have more money you can use more money all that stuff is fine okay so you're burning some energy but you're not building a compounding machine if this is clear typing clear because this is very very important so with strength training you actually get all the benefits that you get from cardio when you do the strength training you're still burning calories it's not the strength training doesn't burn calories but it is generating a stimulus for growth which means you will increase your bmr which means you will burn more calories even when you are not working out 
when you do cardio the only time you burn calories is during your exercise thing now because there is stimulus for growth muscle needs to be built needs to be synthesized now you have more muscles in your body whenever you move you are using more muscles which means more expenses you are burning more calories and not just the calories improved muscles bones and joint also improves your a you know health and you can age healthily because as we age we have a risk of something called sarcopenia which means losing muscle mass so we lose balance fall down you know frequently and all these things happens as we age and osteoporosis which means your bones are becoming weaker and joints are becoming weaker so you get those joint pains and fractures too frequently so this is what strength training can do for you how many of you think this is wow type in wow understand this this is value investing right now here are mastery tips okay at this age especially if you are in 40s you know you need a workout that is scientifically designed for you just taking up any strength training will not work why because number one thing that a movement needs to consider is something called biomechanics so your body has certain movements that it can do and certain movements it cannot do right like if you straighten your hand this is how much your elbow will straighten and if you try to straighten it further what will happen or if you just turn it the other side you can only fold it this way but if you try to fold it in the other direction what will happen you will dislocate you will break and you will end up having some joint ligament injuries this is what happens to a lot of people when they go to gym they end up injuring their knees and back why because their workouts are not designed scientifically based on biomechanics making sense in fact i'll give you an example we had one of our technofunda i mean strength training is required to build muscles buddy bharat right in fact our of uh, one of our members technofunda members uh you know i worked with him last year he had injured both of his knees because you know he went to some weight loss stuff and they made him do something crazy and he had trouble walking forget about climbing stairs or like 10 15 steps is what he was able to walk okay and then we worked together for 6 months and he actually now is actually climbing stairs and doing all of that stuff right so this can happen but you need a strength training routine which is designed for you okay not just randomly what if you are 61 and obese again strength training can work for 90 years old and 95 years old okay it's proven so even for you you can do it right but it needs to be designed second it needs to generate stimulus for growth improve your cardiovascular uh system and reduces the risk of heart attack and cardiac issues okay so this is how you do it okay another thing that you need to understand is that your workout needs to be designed based on progressive overload what does it mean is like if you have not working out at all you're completely sedentary tomorrow you cannot start a one hour workout session at gym and this is where most people go wrong like you know every time they go for a uh you know new exercise plan fitness plan they have that you know like 5 days or 6 days a week 60 minutes a day workout plan it doesn't work that way based on where you are from there slowly you got to build and go on top of it because if you otherwise try to do too much of exercise you will not be able to adapt it all you will end up is unbearable pain and soreness next day how many of you have experienced that right so this is what happens and once you have that unbearable pain and soreness what you feel like is are yaar tomorrow i don't want to go and work out aaj work out nahi karna work out means pain you start building that thought this is how the psychology changes work out means pain work out means pain work out means exhaustion work out means no energy and you stop doing it isn't doms part of strength training it is but doms can be minimized a lot 
so strength training exercise strength training can be body weight strength can be training can be resistance band exercise strength training can be lifting weights all of these okay and the workout also needs to be time efficient here is the thing i'll tell you none of my clients do 60 minutes of workout the max out at 40 most of them start with 15 or 20 minutes okay because when you're already pressed for time if i ask you to do you know your uh, what do you say you know one hour every day you will not be consistent and i've seen this over a period of years okay most working busy professionals with lot of other responsibilities 40 minutes is max which you can invest in a day 5 days a week if you go beyond that you will mostly end up not being consistent and you will actually lose out on the benefits okay kickboxing kickboxing is more of a plyo and a cardio kind of a workout it's not a strength training workout make sense are we clear type in clear if you're clear so far awesome now some of the mistakes to avoid right please do not pick up any random exercise plan from internet and start doing that but it, again see yoga it depends upon what yoga you do okay yoga could be very mild and you know flexibility oriented balance oriented yoga could also be strength oriented but it depends upon that right so hold on to some questions we'll do it at the end so that we can cover the stuff right so we'll talk about it so guys hold on to your questions i'll answer all the questions we have a q and a so we can cover all the content you know we have got to cover so if you pick up any random exercise plan your chances of injuries are high it's like i have a fever i'll take paracetamol like i know in india we do it but that's a shit way of looking at it because you don't know if this fever is because of some viral infection is it dengue is it malaria is it because of covid is it because of something else some other infection you have no idea if you just take paracetamol because you have fever and you don't understand how much how frequently all of these things you're not doing the right thing for your health it's the same thing and if you do too much of cardio right so so many people when they start they're like highly motivated 2 3 hours of work you will lose even more muscle mass okay so unless and until you know you get the right combination done it will be very difficult for you to really do the thing is it making sense type in ms if this is making sense to you okay now i know like how do i know what is the right exercise okay now this is the same question you go and ask your doctor like how do i know if this is fever because of viral or if this is fever because of malaria or dengue or whatever it depends every time it's different and for every individual it's different so i'll give you a very you know raw but very clear and very honest thing one get a professional to design a workout plan for you okay or just like what i did go and learn the science of exercise and design workouts for you okay these are the two options i'll tell you like i'm not going to give you a very goody goody answer and say oh ja ke ye kar lo yoga kar lo wo kar lo yoga mein kya kar rahe ho if you have a back pain and you do forward bend or a back bend what will happen with yoga biomechanics screwed up right so you you cannot randomly pick up any exercise plan and start doing it if you're doing it something it works for you go ahead and do it but if you want to go in a systematic way it's just like you can't pick up you know start you know investing in reliance because reliance is a good stock no you need to know what's the you know entry criteria what's the exit criteria is it the right way to do it how much do i invest in this as part of my portfolio all of these things same way workout needs to be designed by a professional and it needs to be done in that way are we clear type in clear if you are clear so are you clear what workout does for you why it is important and how to actually get it done is this helpful type in helpful if this is helpful to you yeah 
Awesome. HF, yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Now, now that you understand workout, let me take this to the next level. Only exercise does not help with weight loss. I know some of you are going to like, wow, you, till now you talked about the importance of exercise, but now you are you know, talking about this. And that's what I told you. The purpose, okay, let me ask you this. How many of you are now clear the purpose of exercise is not only burning calories, it is also about improving muscles, bones, strength, and overall health. Type in clear if you're clear with that. Okay, exercise is not a calorie burning machine. Right? Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Now you understand that, then I'll tell you only exercise does not help with weight loss. Okay, now the workout can help you burn some calories, but as you saw earlier, the job of workout is not burning calories. An effective weight loss strategy needs to incorporate healthy eating habits along with the workout plan. How many of you are ready for that? Type in ready if you are ready. Yep, awesome. So now, some of you might still say, you know, why all that stuff? So I'll give you a very simple example. And there are tons of studies which have proved this, but I'll give you one study done by Precision Nutrition. There are multiple studies that I can share with you if you want. You know, we took 100 sedentary participants, 50 stayed sedentary, and 50 participants began exercising five and a half to six hours, okay, per day. And that lasted for 12 weeks. Now, if you think that if you're working out five and a half to six hours, an exercise plan designed by expert, the right combination of strength, cardio, and all of that stuff for 12 weeks, supervised by uh, you know, the best trainers in the world and all of that stuff. How much weight do you think you expect to lose? Type in the number. If you do this. Eight, two, three, ten, ten, ten to twenty-five. Rajneesh, get rich quick. <laughs> ten, five, five. Okay. Now, let me give you a surprise. Ready? Cannot unless we know the eating habit. Exactly. Here is the thing. Okay. Without dietary control, 12 weeks of high intensity training produce 1% of body fat loss. So, if you were 99 kgs, you became, so if you're 100 kgs, you became 99. How many of you think this is shit? I've been shit if this is shit, right? This is awful, right? Crazy, yeah. The average fat loss of all our participants is half a percent or 500 grams, depending upon their weight, per week. So in 12 weeks, most of our participants end up losing 6 to 8 kgs of weight. How many of you think that is wow? Wow. Now, this is for precision nutrition. This is for my coaching programs, all of these. Okay, we have done multiple studies over the years. This is what is proven multiple times. Are you getting the point? Is this clear that only workout will not help you lose weight? Again, there are benefits. We are not contesting that. But if it's about weight loss, or fat loss, the workout is not going to be enough unless you have the healthy eating practice in place. Clear, type in clear if this is clear. Come on. Yep. Awesome. Now I'll give you a very simple reason or, you know, a, a real life example. So when Vikas came to me, is that he used to play a lot of sports, he used to do a lot of workout, but he was always overweight. Okay. No consistency, a lot of cravings, guilt, frustration, eating habits were all over the place. When he worked with me, in 10 months, he lost 13 kgs of weight. From 81, he went to 68. And he was like, you know, the same thing that I talked about. Like every new year came with the same resolution. I want to lose weight. But then I got this. 
absolutely okay person to person as per body type your ability all of these your exercise should be planned and even your eating habits would be the same right how many of you think this is wow 13 kg in 10 months now i'll tell you even better thing it's been 2 years he's still maintaining the weight that he's got to he's maintaining at 68 how many of you think that is even more wow type in wow right awesome so this is what happens if you combine the things in the right way but now the question is what is the right nutrition what kind of meal plan should i follow yes oops yeah mm. so let's get started so that is step number 2 how to lose kgs inches from your waistline look younger and healthier now here is what nutrition should be able to do for you nutrition should help you manage your calorie deficit intake so the amount of calories that you take it should also provide the right combination of macros and micronutrients okay now your body will need protein and calcium for building stronger muscles joints and bones so if you're not eating that that's not going to help your body needs carbohydrates as a preferred fuel for the energy so you need carbs for that your body will need fats to produce hormones and protect your internal organs you need that too so effective nutrition plan has to take care of all of these how many of you are clear typing clear making sense effective nutrition plan is not just counting some calories and say eat 250 calories less eat 500 calories less or eat 1800 calories eat 2000 calories no it has to take into all of these things awesome thank you now these are the mistakes that most people get into and i would highly recommend you avoid you get into a low carb mode your energy levels will crash you actually end up binging on weekends you end up doing keto you will do it for few months and when you give up on keto you actually get back most weight that you have lost in fact you get back even the interest on the weight that you lost you do restrictive diets what will happen is you will always be like oh i can't eat this i can't eat that oh i can't go here because i'm on a diet all of that stuff you will start building that resentment towards healthy eating you will eventually give up if you're going to do intermittent fasting let me tell you intermittent fasting is not even a diet i'm not going to get into details of what it is and all that stuff it is just time restriction and because of time restriction your eating pattern changes and for some people because eating pattern changes they lose weight right because they are you know their late night uh, eating their junking and all that thing goes out of the window but when they give up it's all the same same is with the crash diets like you know whatever crazy names come up with right so please avoid this it's been proven time and again multiple studies over the years of past 50 to 60 years most people who get on a diet never sustain one okay is it clear can type in got it if you're with me so far type in got it or type in with you all right none of this is going to really work for you in a long term it'll work for you in short term definitely you lose weight not going to something that you will be able to sustain now what is a good nutrition plan if is intermittent fasting dvs right so it should generate a calorie deficit to help you with weight loss which means you got to you know eat lesser calories than you are spending number one it should provide all the nutrients or raw material for growth repair and maintenance of your body cells it should provide a steady supply of energy and it should satisfy your physical hunger and your taste buds too 
this is good nutrition how many of you now like understand what's the role of nutrition if it doesn't check mark on any of these you're most likely to not continue yeah making sense All right awesome now while you do this it should be simple and practically implementable in all situation okay you can be eating at home you can be eating at office you could be eating at something else all of that stuff it should be simple and practically implementable if you're cooking at home if you're eating outside you're traveling you're celebrating you're partying all of these things you need to be able to eat healthy how many of you actually fail to do this yeah bharat you will get the recording once it is available right how many of you actually fail to you know eat healthy if you are eating outside if you are ordering from outside when you are traveling when there are celebrations when there are parties that's where the eating goes for a toss type in me in the chat box come on be honest type in me right this is where most people give up this is where most problem starts but here is the thing are any of these things going to go away from your life yes or no will eating outside go away from your life will ordering food from outside go away from your life while traveling go away from your life will celebrations go away from your life will parties go away from your life no most of you are saying no and here is the thing if you don't learn to do this in all this situation will you actually be able to sustain you know your eating healthy habits or whatever plan all your life yes or no right no you will not is the thing now if you can't sustain do you think you can lose and maintain the weight yes or no no you will lose because you stayed strict for 3 months and then you back right so this is what happens with most people so now some people might ask but ye like hota kya hai like how do i do it right so what you see on the screen are some real pictures of my food because you guys are new you are not on my facebook or instagram or whatever you might not have not seen this but this is how my food plate looks like most of the days do you see you know do you see like normal food patterns you know there is roti there is sabzi there is dal there is salad there is buttermilk all of these things that we normally eat yeah i know the you know the thing on the right is little fancy but that's you can do you know healthy eating with fancy food too how many of you think this is wow type in wow right i'll give you some more example i know like you know if you are somebody my friend from east or south like double what about rice right rice to dikha nahi this is rice look at this right this is how your plates could look like now one of the things can you see the quantity of rice versus dal the quantity of you know protein and veggies versus rice can you see in all these plates can you see the the balance over here yeah about one third yeah dvs absolutely but here is the thing how does a normal plate look like most of the cases for people like two third is actually rice or roti thoda sa dal hai thoda sa vegetables hai thoda sa protein hai khaya bhi nahi bhi khaya right this is how it looks like so like you know one full thing of rice and roti breads but we don't eat a balanced meal always i am a vegetarian buddy so yes but you can always eat non veg as well right you don't have to it's not minimal it's balanced anil right it's not minimal carbohydrates this is balanced and this is where i give you a real life example as well like when i work with amrish he is a father of two 
IT professionals that I've never been consistent with the workouts and eating habits. I was too tired end of the day to get to the gym, forget about working out. Okay, and that's where we eased him, which I talked about, into the way of working out and eating a balanced diet. He lost 14.4 kgs in six months. He says, I'm in the best shape of my life. How many of you think this is wow? And the reason I'm showing you is this works in real life for real people just like you and me. Right? And here's the thing I'll tell you. We worked in 2020. This is 2023. He is still maintaining the same weight. How many of you think that is even wow? Right? So this is possible for you and I'm showing it for you. Now, how do you balance the plate, right? So let's summarize this, right? A balanced plate needs to have protein in it, vegetables, carbohydrates, fats, and water, okay? Every balanced plate needs these five ingredients, protein, veggies, carbs, fat, and water. Type in five if you've got this. Right? Are we clear? Is nutrition clear? Type in clear if this is clear for you. More meals, is it required in every meal? More meals are balanced, better it is. Right? Like how do you evaluate a company? Right? Like how do you evaluate? Right? So you have a checklist. What does balance sheet look like? Debt kitna hai. Ye ratio kitna hai. Wo ratio kitna hai. And that's how you evaluate. So that's how you evaluate. If you got these things, you're good to go. Make sense? Are you guys learning something? Type in learning in the chat box if you're learning. Awesome. All right. So let's move forward. Now, here is the thing. Let me ask you. You have a car, okay? And car needs to repair and you want to kind of refurbish the car. If you continue to run the car, you don't stop. But you have all the you know, raw materials or the spares and everything required. Can you fix it? Can you repair it? Can you refurbish the car when it's running on the road? You don't stop. Engine is on, car is on, you're on the move. Right? Exactly the same. Now, you're doing the strength training and the cardio training. You have the right exercise plan in place. Now, you're eating also good. Okay? But, when does your body actually repair and rejuvenate itself? Sleep. No prizes for guessing. Thank you, Sandesh. Right? Now, if you want to improve your focus, your energy, and your immunity, you need to also take care of your sleep. As we talked about, at this point in our life, we are at the peak of our career. Responsibilities and pressure is all time high. Your kids are growing up. Parents are growing old. Family needs most of your time. What does this lead to? What does this lead to? What's the first thing that gets sacrificed? Sleep. Right? Thoda kam soenge. Raat ko late soenge, subay jaldi uthenge. This is what happened. It leads to stress, but it leads to stress because you're not sleeping well. No time for self-care. Right? And we, as we talked about, self-care sometimes feel like selfish. Are yaar, sone mein time kyu barbaat karna? Right? I've had people who come and tell me like, sone mein time kyu barbaat karna? And here is where I'll give you a very simple example. You know? You have seen people who do either a lot of exercise or no exercise, and they're still okay. Have you seen that? Type in yes. 
so you can live okay without exercise right you can actually live okay eating less or even not eating like in every culture every religion there is this fasting thing there is you know jain there is pollution navratri if you are a hindu ramzan if you are a muslim like whatever it is there is some fasting you can live without food for a week two three yes you can live without a food one two three weeks all of that stuff yes or yes yes now try living without sleeping for 3 days why does no culture no religion nothing tells you not to sleep try not to sleep for 3 days for 3 days i'm not having one day two day impractical i'll tell you you will go mad you will not able to think straight your decision making will be paralyzed if you're driving you'll end up banging onto somebody uh, you are into your work your creativity is gone your ability your focus everything is gone and if you chronically are sleeping less your immunity is compromised you're going to fall sick in fact i have a friend who is a major in army he said you know we have this exercise for extreme cases and he is like uh, you know in the special forces he said we are not allowed to sleep for 3 days 72 hours and what happens at the you know end of the 48 hours he said we start hallucinating we start seeing trucks coming in we try to you know get up run and then we actually you know try to climb on that we fall down and see there is nothing we start seeing things that doesn't happen okay you'll go mad in simple words if you don't sleep how many of you are getting this how many of you have seen lot of these people some film celebrities some big celebrities all they were going to gym regularly they were in you know decent shape shape and all that stuff but they actually ended up you know dying due to cardiac arrest heart attack all of these stuff how many of you have seen that type in me or i have heard that punit rajkumar ya yeah, a bangalore guy uh, there was another guy there was a sap md if you are an it guy few years back he was a marathoner a football player dies on the on the field you know if you see the underlying problem they are highly stressed and they are not sleeping well just check the details of their lifestyle if you get to do that is it making sense right now because you are sleeping well you have low energy you are not able to focus how do you do what do you do you try to smoke you try to have more tea or coffee you try to release stress watching tv or phone or have alcohol now again all of these are just coping mechanisms of stress they help you release the stress but they actually do not solve the problem which is actually long term momentarily it helps you but not in the long term is it are you guys getting bulb bond type in bo if you are getting bulb bond movement here have you seen your eating behavior next day when you are not sleeping well or sleeping enough the day you are not sleeping enough you actually end up eating more you need more tea more coffee you are more on social media scrolling all of these things absolutely buddy fly over shift bit further i think you are a bangalorean this is what happens in our city always right so this is what you did so this is where you need to understand this okay you may love your work you may love your family members you may love everybody but you need to put your own oxygen mask first before helping others imagine if you are not well if you are on a hospital bed how are you going to take care of your work how are you going to take care of your kids how are you going to take care of your parents in fact are you actually taking care of them or by not taking care of yourself you are actually doing you know a crime against them because now they have stress your work is suffering if you are running a business your employees are suffering if you are in a job your projects are suffering your parents are now worried about your health your kids are worried about your health all of these stuff how many of you are getting real kind of a shock with this type in me if you are getting this right taking care of your health being healthy is not selfish it's actually service to others when you have enough energy power enough health then you can go and help others 
making sense this is where the rest recovery and sleep are very very important but they are hugely neglected right because here is how it works as i told you about the car repair workout will generate a stimulus for growth nutrition will provide the raw material but it's the sleep which will create the environment for growth and repair to happen a good quality sleep will help you reduce your stress levels helps you reduce your stress hormones boost the production of testosterone and other growth hormones it helps you normalize your endocrine system and here is the thing you cannot replace sleep with anything else how many of you are getting the point type in got it bubesh we'll continue at the speed and we'll cover as much as we can i know the time i have that in front of me but if you guys are not learning something then tell me are you guys learning something right i know we want to cover like but you know this is the max that we can cover in 2 hours right so we'll get to as much as we can and you know continue to do it we'll talk about it right the power of sleep sleep will improve your immunity by producing antibodies that fight infection produces chemicals that reduce inflammation and body pain it improves your memory creativity and productivity in simple words i'll tell you sleep is your recovery rock star and without sleep your health is always at risk it's okay no no uh, bubesh nothing like that but there is like you know if i rush quickly you guys will not get it like i've gone through this but i want to make sure that you understand what is going through even if we don't cover everything whatever is covered goes in okay so like it's absolutely okay uh, thank you for that but i have that and you know this is what i do regularly so i have the clock in front of me right but is it making sense are you get, getting the point that sleep is your recovery rock star type in rock star if you understand sleep is your rock star right thank you vignesh right now you know i'll give you a fact which we already talked about so most fit people actually get heart attacks and cardiac arrest because of that now what you need is to have quantity and quality of your sleep right if you think that it's waste of your time then you know it is not and if you are well rested you are much more productive faster during the day how many of you have seen that type in me if you have done seen that when you sleep well next day morning you're like much more peaceful you're doing things without any stress but you actually get more things done right right in fact i'll tell you if there is a secret to my health is sleep i do not compromise on my sleep i get my 8 hours of sleep every day and then i know remaining 16 hours i can get things done but if i don't sleep for those 8 hours remaining 16 hours i'll i'll barely get something done i'm just walking zombie right my brain is not as fast as productive as creative in fact i make more mistakes if i have not slept well i've, I've observed that multiple times okay my quality of work goes down right better sleep you will have more energy to move and you will move better like if you only if you wake up with lot of energy you will feel like you want to go and do exercise we'll talk about that ashish so we'll we'll do the q and a later guys right we'll cup right if you don't sleep you will not have energy you don't have energy do you feel like working out no if you don't feel like working out and then you know what will you do you end up doing lot of that things that we talked about you know tea coffee all that stuff you will have if you sleep well you will end up doing less emotional eating and other unhealthy coping mechanisms your stress hormones will be better and your growth hormones will be higher and this completes the cycle of compounding so you generate a stimulus for growth right then you provide the raw material and 
you provide the environment now people ask me how much of sleep the best that we have seen is between 7 to 8 okay 7 8 works the best for most people below that like if you look at the people who sleep for 5 hours look at the weight gain people who sleep for 6 the square boxes they're here people who sleep for 9 they're here people who are 7 and 8 you can see they're almost parallel how many of you are getting it type in got it if you got this right now how much sleep you need would actually based on you know the kind of stress that you're going through your exercise level your physical activity level your nutrient intake all of these things right but seven and eight is a sweet spot make sense also if you're trying to lose weight and you're not sleeping well you could actually end up not losing weight or getting a plateau okay i'll give you a very Simple example of Sanjeev. He's actually a Technofunda member. Okay, Sanjeev Jain. He spoke to me a few months back, you know, and he was like, oh, the world, you know, I'm, I'm doing this walking, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I lost so much of weight, but now I'm stuck. Nothing is moving forward. And I just asked him like, how much do you sleep? And he said like five hours or so. Like, what? <laughs> right? All you got to do is continue doing everything that you're doing. Just focus on getting enough sleep. And a lot of people, when they actually are not able to lose weight, what do they do? They actually sleep less and increase their exercise time, thinking that they'll burn more calories. But that's the biggest or the most grave mistake that you can do for yourself. Right? Making sense? And this guy, you know, lost. Like, I'm not expecting anybody to do that, but this is what he's put on Google review. This is public, okay? He reduced 4.5 kgs in next 15 days because what I suggested started working for him because highly stressed out. He was not relaxing. Everything else was fine. How many of you think this is wow? Type in wow. Right? So in today's age and environment, you know, the healthy living principle, like environment is primed against healthy living. Okay. So that's a sociological challenge that we talked about. So to summarize, we are moving less, eating more, eating more calorie dense food, and we're not sleeping well and recovering from stress well. How many of you have got it? Type in got it. right to summarize you need to get the right mix of strength and cardio training you have to complement that with the right mix of macros and micros so good eating habits you need to allow your body to recover and grow and convert your body into a compounding machine this will increase your bmr which means you'll burn more calories throughout the day and rest that's like getting interest on interest and you will continue to grow if you can continue running this cycle. Now, how many of you think you can compound your health? Type in me in the chat box if you think you can compound your health too, right? Yep, awesome. So, now you got to understand what does it take to build a superhuman health? Yes. Awesome. All right. Now, how many of you want to actually take this to the next level? Type in next or NL if you want to take this to the next level. Right. So, this is where the compounding cycle happens okay now i'll tell you how you can do the boosters along with it so what we've covered strength training and the cardio mix we've covered the right mix of macros and micros and getting enough rest and recovery now we can take the thing to the next level now here's the thing 
if you no nobody no iron man challenge this is all for people like me okay i don't do iron man and stuff this is for busy working professionals now if you work out for 1 hour a day and you're sitting all day rest of the day do you think that's an active lifestyle yes or no if you work out 1 hour a day but then you're sitting all day no right how about including non exercise physical activities which can actually burn up to 3 times more calories than your workout okay now we saw the tdee i'll come back to this slightly technical bear with me right we talked about the bmr being 70 now if you actually do the right strength training here which is exercise activity you can actually you know burn calories here you can also hold on or improve your bmr but can you see this 15% of need how many of you can see the 15% of need which is three times the exercise activity yes now what is need okay need is non exercise activity thermogenesis which means everything that you do probably like i could be taking this session standing so i'm standing for 2 hours versus sitting i burn more calories when i'm in a meeting and i don't have to have a video on i could be walking around instead of pinging my friend uh, or colleague on another you know desk i could walk up to him talk to him and come back instead of booking a meeting room on the same floor or the nearest meeting room i could book the most farthest meeting room or meeting room on another floor and i just go there and do a meeting instead of parking my car closest to the lift i park it to the most farthest end and i go to the apartment instead of taking uh you know lift i take stairs i do some gardening work i take my dog for a walk i play with my kids these are all non exercise activities that we can include in our day which does not need extra scheduled time how many of you think this is wow type in wow you don't need gym membership you don't need to change clothes you don't need to do any of these things now this can turbocharge your journey right this is what we do right simple things washing your car taking stairs gardening walk while you talk all of these things now here's the thing how many of you now want to attach a booster rocket to this type in booster if you want to attach a booster rocket to this journey right awesome here's the thing how many of you agree that though you know the balance plate you will not get it every time type in me every time you want to eat you will not get it there are times you will not have control over it yes now then yes so yes do you agree you will not get all the nutrients in the right quantity and variety and everything that you want yeah Now what do you do then what do you do and how do you you know handle the difficulty when the food options are limited or not available parties celebration travel kuch aur ho gaya we don't know the master the art of eating right not fruit it's not about the food now this is where from food you go inside okay how many of you actually understand your hunger and appetite okay let me ask you this how many times it happens ki pet bhar gaya par man nahi bhara type in me if you have understood this right pet bhar gaya man nahi bhara how many times it happens that you feel stuffed or overfull after you finish the meal type in me but now you can't do anything about it you know that you know itna nahi khana chahiye tha i didn't had to eat so much but now you can't puke out that right and this is where you build the awareness how many times you end up eating just because yaar chalo yaar it's dinner time let's eat dinner 
चलो यार इट्स लंच टाइम लेट्स ईट लंच सब लोग खा रहे खा लेते हैं साथ में खत्म होता है काम इट्स लंच टाइम लेट्स फिनिश इट राइट हियर इज अ थिंग योर बॉडी हैज अ वेरी वेरी पावरफुल मेकानिज्म ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग और हैविंग दिस सिग्नल्स ऑफ हंगर एंड एपेटाइट इट विल टेल यू व्हेन यू आर हंगरी इट विल टेल यू व्हेन टू स्टॉप व्हेन यू आर नॉट हंगरी एनीमोर ओके हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव किड्स टाइप इन मी नॉट कार्डियन रिदम बॉडी How many of you have kids? Type in me if you have kids. When they were toddlers, did they eat or overeat any time? When they were toddlers, never, never. Why? Because they understand the body signal. Okay, but we don't because we have given that up to somebody else. Okay. this is where we end up doing emotional eating stress eating cravings all of that and that is happening because we don't listen we don't ask ourselves am i hungry or not no we don't ask we just have it because time pe khana khana chahiye sab log kha rahe to khana chahiye main nahi khaunga to kaisa lagega a plate mein liya to complete karna padega all of these stuff we don't understand the hunger and appetite and fullness so if you can eat only when you are hungry you are reducing 20 30% of the extra eating when you are eating if you are really mindful and you understand how is it feeling inside you can stop when you are satisfied eating less amount of food and not feel overfull this will help you start losing weight even faster improve your health and energy levels and you can sustain this weight loss for longer how many of you think that is wow i mean wow this is a booster rocket this can change the pedigram for everybody okay this can take you to a next level altogether and it is not about anybody or anything else it's always with you you're not dependent on anybody all right now how many of you want the brahmastra type in me the brahmastra right now you learned the five steps okay now what you got to do is you got to make them part of your daily routine and you got to build the habits around it that you can sustain okay like why because here is the thing habits are the shortcuts that your brain love okay decision making takes time and energy and our brain by default loves speeds and wants to save energy right now let me ask you this what's the color of my shirt type it in the chat box red red black red black red black yeah What seventy six plus five eighty nine? What seventy six plus five eighty nine? Now, how many of you don't feel like typing the answer for seventy six plus five eighty nine? Type in me. You don't have to calculate, right? Why? Because it needed more work. It needed more work. Are you guys getting the point? So your brain does not want to do things that needs more work, but the people who have done this six sixty five, they have done calculations so often that for them it is as easy as recognizing the colors. How many think this is bulb on for you? Right? The people who type six sixty five first, they were actually good at maths. They're like, okay, I do this every day. I do this every day. I do this every day. You ask me, I may not. so this is what is habit your brain wants to save energy it'll do everything that's familiar everything that's repeated and you build habits by repetition and that's where you start doing all the five things and make that part of your life automatically how many of you think that is wow right so what you got to do is you break down these things into small small simple steps i know what i have taught you is a lot 
okay and some of you might feel overwhelmed with this and what we do is inside my mentorship program we break this down into small simple steps and we do it one at a time and then we start step 1 after 2 weeks we add one more after 2 weeks we add one more after 2 weeks we add one more and that is how people make this a habit how many of you think that is awesome that been awesome right so these are clear five steps start training program start a nutrition program start a sleep routine start an on exercise activity start playing the hunger games and then make it a lifestyle and this is what like if people work with me i personalize all these stages for my clients based on their bio socio and psycho environment are you guys learning something you know how these things work right so with that it's 1 o'clock and we are on top of the hour and i'll show you how it works in real life okay so mithil when he actually started working with me he had no idea about food exercise nutrition all of these is that no i was just not worried i was rather sure that i will not complete this program and fail in the effort of being lean and losing weight because i have failed earlier right what he learned is taking small consistent steps and sticking to the process without cooking separately and this was a guy who told me hey the well i don't want my wife to cook separate food for me okay and he did that and he lost 13 kg in 7 months right how many of you think this is wow hey satya narayan so we are not doing the stock we are doing compounding of health over here probably you got the wrong meeting but hey thank you for sticking by but hope you learned something which will help you and he is at the same way from april 2020 how many of you think that is wow type in wow if you can build habits okay this is what you can get right awesome so we going to open this up for q and a before i do that let me also tell you you have an opportunity to reclaim your life how many of you are genuinely like really genuinely interested in improving your health quality of your life and are ready to invest your time money and energy into getting this done type in me in the chat box if you are in really yeah awesome thank you now if you are then i have something special for you okay i would invite you to a one to one discussion with me okay so i'll send you a link over here it's a form you fill up the form end of the form you get a link to you know book a one to one session with me now while you do that let me tell you this you know one this session is not a sales call at the same time this session is also not some you know free time pass okay if you are really serious you want to explore how my program can help you we can have a very fruitful constructive open discussion like i've already had with multiple times with a lot of techno funda members who are my clients you come on the call we discuss if we find a right program a right fit for you then i would invite you to join the program and if you feel that that's a right fit for you you join it making sense type in ms if this is making sense to you right are you ready to get the link all right so i'm going to give you a link okay i'm going to paste it here mm -hmm. 
Where is it gone? It's okay. So I've shared the link to the form over here. So again, I'm, I'm repeating for everybody to understand. Uh, meanwhile, for people who have questions, there is a Q&A tab. Don't put it in the chat, put it in the Q&A. So I'll go and you know start answering them one by one. What you have to do is, uh, you know, just click on this link, answer the question. This is what will tell me what does your lifestyle look like. And once you submit the form, you'll get a link to, you know, schedule a call with me. Once you schedule a call based on my calendar's availability, you will see that, right? And in that call, we'll talk about what are your challenges, if my program can help you, and I'll show you how I can help you if I can. And then you can decide if you want to get into a long-term program and get help from an expert. Making sense? Yes. And by the way, guys, I am on you know, uh, WhatsApp. If you guys want to just ping me, something doesn't work. Okay, you can ping me here. Now, I know we are almost going to reach the end. How many of you want to join in and do a little more Q&A? Type in me if you want to do a little more Q&A. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll give you another link. Okay. I'll paste it here and you guys can join that meeting. Okay. If this gets dropped, you guys can join that meeting. Okay. I will start that meeting there. So I'll put a Zoom link in the chat over here because we might run out of time very soon and automatically this meeting will get over. Once this meeting gets over at 1.15, we will join there, okay? And if you have filled up the form and booked the meeting with me, type in booked, okay? If you have questions, Put it in. So I've sent you this Zoom link. What I'm going to do is for all of you, you're getting my emails, right? So I'm going to send out a one email right now. Okay. To for all of you to join the meeting. Okay. Where is it? So I'm sending immediately. Meanwhile, if you have questions, start putting in your questions. And if you have booked a call or if you're answering the questions on the form, that's fine. Additional Q and A. join this link okay okay so i've actually sent that out can you guys confirm if you've received an email with the link and you have the link to join? Because once this goes off, uh, you may not get the link again. Okay, you want, okay. Here is a Zoom meeting. And here is the form. Got the email? So all of you, whoever wants to do a Q&A at 1.15, this meeting will get over and we'll switch on to the another Zoom meeting, okay? I'll answer the questions for you, so join in. If you want to book a session regarding, you know, program you want to, if you're really committed, and again, this is purely, I'm going very serious here. Uh, this is a lot of time that I invest with you, and I, I do just, I want to make sure that we respect your time and my. So if you book a call, you make sure you show up for the call, okay? 
you book a call imagine you're paying for this like usually i would charge 100 dollars for doing this i'll be very open but you know for techno funda i don't so book a call show up for it ask questions uh, understand the things and if you feel that we are the right fit to work together we can if we feel we are not i can't help you i'll let you know that as well or if you think that yeah this program is not for you that's fine too making sense are we clear i've been clear in the chat box if you are clear so you have the form you have the meeting link and at 115 we'll switch over if you're filling the form if you're still in the process of filling the form type in form so i know you're in process of filling the form if you're filling the form okay awesome if you fill the form and you don't get a, a link you know on the thank you page or on the submit page you will get a link to book a time with me on my calendar and there will be limited availability on my calendar so just check and then you know uh, we'll join the other meeting sure yeah thanks the world need to leave it was good to learn awesome thank you so much for guys who are not joining the q and a uh, hope this was useful was it useful can you tell me if this was useful type in useful in the chat box below if this was useful to me if you guys learned something useful okay awesome if you have q and a uh, if you have q and a just join the other link we'll do the q and a there any pending questions just do the q and a okay uh, join the q and a call if you have any trouble scheduling a call with me trouble filling the form whatever it is just uh, join the q and a call which will happen just now and then we'll talk about it okay thank you so much i'm glad that this was useful thank you so much for all of you spending this wonderful monday sunday morning with me and it's already lunch time okay so it's 13 12 continue filling up the form and once this is over we immediately switch on to the other zoom meeting you can ask me questions and if you need any help booking time with me you can do that too all right how many of you are doing q and a joining q and a type in me in the chat box okay shwarma mohit okay mohit have you booked a call with me did you get a link to join a book a call mohit yeah it's okay <laughs> uh, mohit but did you get a link to book a call right no in the thank you page you will get it okay now if you haven't here is a thing okay for you to come in and book a call with me i need the information on the form but somehow if you missed it uh here is a link to directly okay i'll give it to mohit because he's filled a form if you filled a form you've not got the link you can reach out to me on whatsapp you can reach out to me on telegram and i'll give you the form okay or a link to schedule a one to one 9019851723 okay 